Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Continent. Um, if memory serves, we've just defeated the Jolly Green Giant. Wrecked him. Wrecked him right up. And uh, got Aiko on our team. Yes, running out of magic. Um, and we're going to see her home, Medane Surrey. And it's been a while since I recorded this last, and I'm doing it in a tiny, tiny little corner of one room because our place is under renovation and uh so there's a lot of switch stuff coming up because this is the only console i have room for to set up and to record so look forward to that this weekend next is probably going to be all switch try to sprinkle in some other things besides final fantasy but if you're looking for other things besides final fantasy then why are you here watching a final fantasy gotcha so then this is my home my dancery you live here? It's a pile of rubble. Dagger? What happened here? This place is in ruins. Village of the Lost Summoners. Once again, everyone gets to be a summoner except our summoner. Mocha! Moko! Chimamo! Kubo Kubo! Mamatos! Morrison! She named all her Moogle friends? Where's Mog? Uh, no, Mog got eaten. Oh no, her little Moogle got eaten by Queena. I can't help but think that might be my fault. Mog! Oh, there they are. I can't remember if Mog's a boy or a girl. It doesn't really matter. They're not wearing a bikini like other lady Moogles. No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Kubo, Kubo. Sit down, follow me. Uh, what choice do you have? There's only one path. Here we go. Oh, nope. Still a cutscene. Get to work, you guys. Kubo, cool. yes, ma'am. <gasps> huh. I thought they just said Kubo. Mog, you stay here with me. Kubo. Okay, come on. Kubo. <laughs> Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Um, no, because she's clearly wearing overalls, Zidane. He doesn't know much about ladies' fashion. Yep, Mog always stays with me. How is that a dress? It looks like two separate legs, right? Kubo! And, like, she always faces away from the camera to lift her quote-unquote dress because they couldn't animate that as a dress lifting up, obviously, but then they made it look like overalls. It's got a belt buckle around one leg. Anyway. Sedan, so come sit over here. Hey, tell me more about yourself. Tell me. Sure, I want to know more about you too, Aiko. Really? For instance, the Eidolon. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No, what I want to know is... What kind of food do you like? What kind of Eidolons do you like? What type of Moogles do you like? What type of girls do you like? Oh, he's got himself a fan. I've never met anyone like you before. Dagger? What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Are you and Dagger really just friends? Boing! Seems like you guys are something more. Well, yeah, we're more than friends. So? What are you guys? We're a team. A team? A team? Mr. T? Yeah. Vivi's also part of the team. Hey, where did he go? Ma, I'll go find Vivi. Is, is Sir like me and the Moogles? Something like that. All clean, Koopo. Thanks, Mocha. I'll be right there. Roop. Really needs to be a sound effect when they goes up under her overalls. I'm gonna start cooking. You have to come in at my place later, okay? There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Also, we have nowhere else to go. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. How are you feeling, Vivi? Tell us. 
Tell us how you're feeling. Exposit. Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's not only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I, I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? Where do we go? Where do we come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live... I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Oof, big feelings. Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Big seven-year-old feelings. I'm a little tired. Yeah, well, I am a little bit hungry for looting. Thank you, Libra. Can I go see that bird lady with my Libra? All right, let's explore. Dagger's oh, big feelings from Dagger now. We never get to hear Zidane's feelings. A village of summoners? I read about them in a book once. A, a tribe that possesses the power to call forth Eidolons. Eidolons? Knowing that I had Eidolons inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me, used the Eidolons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill my Eidolons if Kuj was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? It must be the location. This place feels so familiar to me somehow. Hmm. Let's try putting two and two together. This is a restricted area. Restricted? What's that then? Come on! <laughs> you can't stop Aquina. Zidane, this place only rocks in sand. I eat star sand once, but sand here, not food. Star sand? Water look queen? Water look queen, no? Sweet! <laughs> hey, don't take it so hard. They're a special case. Well, Aquina made it. Jeez, what a dump. <laughs> it must have been like this for at least 10 years. What can Aiko possibly feed us? Rocks? Now we dive into Aiko's feelings. Thanks for cleaning. You guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my hero, Sedan. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Sedan and Dagger are dating yet. Dagger has been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. I don't think that's it, Aiko. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm going to cook lots of yummy food and show Zidane what a good homemaker I am. Kupo, it might work if you cook good food. But Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know. That's why I can't screw up. You're all going to help me. No! <laughs> Koopa Po. Koopa, I'm sleepy. You're all gonna help! I'm gonna cook my specialty rock fisted potato stew. I was right. It's just, she's just gonna serve us rocks. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Scrumptious. Koopa, yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted so bad, I thought my pom pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Koopa, how about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. Mm. Alright, I have a big problem with whole fish. I don't mind fish. I actually really like eating fish. Um, but I don't want it to look like an animal. This bothers me so much. This is like such a thing in Japan. Like, just give us the whole fish. Whole fish, just fry it up. And then, and then what? And then what? Ugh. Anyway. That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock-fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Let's see. Oh, no. Um. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna, uh, real quick, just look up who needs to do what. Be right back.
Okay, I got it. Um, Momotos goes fishing. Go, Momotos! I choose you! Koopa! And then Mocha... Mocha? <laughs> That's a real word. Mocha. Mocha goes gets potatoes. Go, Mocha! Koopa! And then... Chimama, you help me in the kitchen! Koopa! Did I make the right decisions? Yes. Let's start! Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. Oh, big feelings from everyone. Nico comes across so bold and, um, what's her name? What's the name? What's the word? Pretentious? Precocious, that's the word. Precocious. She's just desperately praying to her dead grandfather to not be alone. I feel so anxious. Yeah. Cool. No words of comfort from Zidane. Just turn and run away. How about you, Vivi? You still... Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got words of comfort for Vivi. Vivi? What's up? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I, I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay, thanks, Zidane. Wow, you always know just what to say. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and think about it some more. Okay. Koopo, please wait. Thank you for waiting. Lady Echo, like Lady Echo, uh, Morrison's got a stutter. Lady Echo says the food will be ready soon. It'll, I'll take you to the Eidolon Wall in the meantime. Please follow me. I was told that was a restricted area. Oh, but I probably don't know that yet. <gasps> Oops. Spoilers. Active time event. Eight goes kitchen. Let's see how it's going. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zidane. All right, one, two. There's that quiet boy, Vivi. Three. I guess I should cook for Dagger, too. Four. And all you guys. Mog, Moko, Mocha, Chimomo, Momotos, and Morrison. That's ten. Will you put water on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Kupo. All right, that's ten. But, your little secret here, you gotta put it on for eleven. I hope. We'll see. Eleven people, Kupo. Good luck to me and my counting system. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put in that aglip I found in the candy Petit Mountain Bath? No, don't do that. God, what's wrong with you? Thanks. Let's start. Get the water going, a good shake of salt. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. Mmm, yeah, lots and lots of nuts, yeah. I caught one, Koopo. It's heavy. Koopo. Are you okay? Shimomo, take over, I gotta go help. Keep staring, Shimomo, don't let it burn. This is big. We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, two, three. Ah! That's the worst looking fish. Can you imagine? Oh, what a terrible fish to catch. Is it a catfish? One of those really, really ugly bottom feeding types. Moko is very proud of his role as the idol on wall guard. Aiko's decision to show the idol on wall to outsiders upset him. But we Moogles love Aiko. You'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Eidolon Wall has been protected by Aiko's Summoner Tribe for generations. Summoner Tribe? I'm gonna get Dagger. She can use Summon Magic. Is that true? No. It's a lie. A really boring, terrible lie. Come on, Dagger. Stop brooding. Hey, Dagger. Come with me, I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Eidolon Wall. I just started saying that word differently. This very minute. I used to say Eidolon. Eidolon, like it's German. E-I. But now I'm thinking it might be Eidolon, like Japanese Eidolon. Eiko and her people protected the Eidolon Wall for generations. We Moogles also help Eiko protect the wall. Don't mess it up. Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. 
Hmm. Is it embarrassing? Please come in. The Eidolon wall is this way. The Eidolon wall is a collection of paintings. The summoner tribe painted all the Eidolons they found during their research. These Eidolons all exist? Kubo. <laughs> Affirmative. This is a holy place for the summoner tribe. Lady Aiko comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. What's this one? There's Atamos. That's Bahamut. Oh, what's wrong, Dagger? I... You'll get it back. I want to look at the mural some more. Okay. Me too. But, uh... But I cannot. Hmm. I want to know what they are. I don't know most of these Eidolons. What? All those books as a child? The Summoner Tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. They consider the Eidolons guardians of this planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 5,500 years ago, but now... But now? What do you mean, but now what? Tell me, Morrison. Uh, okay. Well. Alright, Eko's, Eko's Kitchen 2. <clears throat> Your bait, not so good. Pale, white hair, strange clothes. Zidane told me about you. You're Kuja. Zidane looked for a man named Kuja. I called Quina. Oh, you chased Mog on the Kondipati mountain path. I'm Aiko. I've forgiven you for trying to eat my friend. Mog, don't ever come out while they're around. Kubo. Smell good. <laughs> don't eat anything. The heat too low. You can cook? It's my destiny to pursue way of gourmand. This must be a helper from above. Don't be fooled. They only know frogs. It's been confirmed in this story that they only know frogs. But we're going to ask for advice anyway. Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. It's Sudan's group, the Boogles, and me make 11 people. Hot damn. I got it right. Is good amount. This seat only strong enough to make food for nine people. Was not possible to make enough for everyone. No! I teach you very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guests very hungry. You correct to make food for more than ten people. This your only ingredient for stew? Rock? Moko went to dig up some rock-fisted potatoes. His problem now with heat. How we get more heat? Hmm. Ah, ah, I know. I know, Black Mage. I ask him, make fire. Thank goodness for Queena. Otherwise, dinner would have sucked. Nasty-ass cold half-cooked potato stew with rocks. Don't mess it up. Okay, well, Dagger's brooding, Vivi's brooding, <laughs> the Moogles. Koopa! Koopa! -ba. Okay. <laughs> wow, this looks great. One fish for eleven people. Koopa! -ba -ba. Welcome, Zidane. Have a seat. You made a lot. What's his name? Queena? They helped me. Almost. They helped you without eating all the food? Amazing. Vivi too. Eh. <laughs> Let's eat. Itadakimasu. How is it? Wow, this stew tastes amazing. You should start a restaurant. And you can have exactly one thing on the menu. The fish is just right. Hey, Eiko, where are all the other summoners? Wow, right out the gate with that. Are they hiding underground or something? 
Underground? Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. You insensitive bastard. What? I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with Moogles ever since my grandpa died last year. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, don't worry about me. I'm really happy here. Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born, a natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like because they died when I was very young. I see. I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? Huh? You know why I'm here in this village? It was to meet you, Zidane, my beautiful shooting star. That's a line from Lord Avon's play, Wishing Upon a Star. How did you know? Darn it! Boing. How does Aiko know about that play? This place is far from the Mist Continent, and obviously nobody outside the Mist Continent could be illiterate. Bunch of barbarians. <clears throat> Thank you. Thanks, Aiko. That was really good. See? Don't you want to eat my food every day? Look at that. It's not a dress. It's got legs. It's like parachute overalls. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? That's so rude of you. Yep. Off to sulk. Just like everyone else. Sit down. Help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. But first... Steal all your shit. There's so many old books here. I think this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. D can you not tell? Haven't you read it? Can you believe this? This is a first edition. I've only ever seen one at the Castle Library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? W well, why? Because it's... Because the village is 500 years old. These people are dense. How could anyone have anything outside of my castle? My Christian library? Must have everything the world ever had. Alright, here we go. Taking the soup. So it wasn't just Dagger. Zidane's really slow, too. Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. <clears throat> Taking this. Talk to the Kupo. This person keeps telling me to catch more fish, Koopo. So then, I make a great discovery. These fish different from Miss Continent fish. That's fantastic, Guino. Catch another one! Alright, where you want this pot? Is there something on my face? Yes, no. Thanks, Zidane. Could you leave it there? Hey, Eko, do you know anything about the Aoife tree? What about the Eva tree? We want to go there. It's sealed with an Adalon. You can't get in. Sealed? Did you seal it, Aiko? Well... So he's sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed an Adalon that we failed to summon in the Eva tree. So he's not sharp, because it wasn't her. <laughs> oh, boy. It's our custom to seal a failed Adalon where we summon it. Well, that's... Prejudice? Failed by whose standards? You judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree? An Adelon you failed to summon. No, he failed third grade math, so we sealed him. Eko, will you break the seal for us? What? No way! It's not like we're gonna do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. We're just gonna light it on fire and destroy it. No way! Are you crazy? You won't do it? No. Alright. Guess we're gonna have to... I don't know, go, uh... Light it on fire ourselves. Shame. I don't think there are any books on summoning. No, why would there be books for a tribe who is innately able to summon things? You don't need to learn that. Oop. You should get some sleep before you go. Alright. Bring ding 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 ding. Maybe? 
You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. See how tired I am. Uh. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but... That's because we're different, Vivi. You don't have to do everything my way, you know. I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. Try drugs, man. Just kidding. That's not the solution. What if I keep feeling like this? Vivi. Well, in the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do, or you don't. Yep. You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. It's not fair. But that's the way things are. The choice is yours. Sedan? I just want to protect the people I'm with. Doesn't matter whether I can or not. It's what I believe in. I knew it. I knew I was right. Sedan is the man for me. He's right. You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with Sedan. You want to know a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Come over here, Vivi. Let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself go under the stars? Just whip it out. Just whip it out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> go on, Aiko. Just let yourself go under the stars. So, Dan, I want to come back here. When I first saw the Adelon Wall, I was scared. But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure, we'll come back after we check out the Aoife tree. Thank you. We gotta come back and get Queena anyway. We can't just leave him there. Are you coming back here for Aiko? Aiko's only six years old. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. I haven't seen her today. But I also haven't looked up and to the left. You're right. I also haven't looked up and to the left. Kabow! Kabow! <gasps> Surprise! Aiko! <laughs> you can't break the seal of Eva Tree without calling an Adelon. And your summoner sucks. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought. Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Which means Queen is going to stay here and eat fish. Vivi, dagger, let's have fun. The Aoife tree is beyond the Condipati mountain path. Let's go. Hmm. Why are you so nice to everyone, Sedan? Huh? What do you mean by that? Forget I asked. I think she was mad. You think so too, huh? Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see if there's, if there's any trouble. Oh, yeah, Morrison cannot talk. I'll tell you what. Come see us if there's any trouble. Sure thing. Vivi, have you figured out a solution to your problem? Not really. But I'm moving on. Good. Atta boy. Moving on. I am going to go back and see if I can buy anything from this Moogle. Also, do y'all want any mail? I hate to say this, but our village could use some capital. I'll have to charge you for this. What are you going to use the money for? There's no shops around. You steal everything from the dwarves. Is that alright? No. Because I feel like you're going to continue stealing from the dwarves. A mithril dagger. You better buy that. Gladius, got it. Poison knuckles. I might need that. We don't know yet. Pinwheel. Eh. Um, equipped to. I guess I better get one more. Except it's expensive. Um, I get another one of those. 
guess I'll get one of those. A hat. Uh, I don't need a hat. Maybe need a hat. No, he's expensive. Oh my gosh, Aiko doesn't have anything. Get one of those. Potions. Don't need potions yet. Don't think I need any of these. Um. All right. Next time we're gonna go to the Efa tree, and uh, and I might I might grind a bit between then and then now now and then. Next time. All right. See you later. Bye.